What's up? What's up, YouTube? Uh, welcome to POV Pottery. This is the, the channel where you get to see pottery made from the first person point of view. I noticed there's a lot of YouTube videos with pottery instruction, and uh, there are zero videos where somebody is wearing a GoPro on their head and throwing pots. I thought, you know what? Why not? It might be helpful for some people to see pottery thrown from the potter's perspective. Uh, you know, hand placement, what time on the wheel, etc. Let me know in the comments below if this was helpful for you or if this just made you dizzy. Um, so today's first episode is just going to be about uh, centering the clay, where to place your hands, how to sit, um, and some small finer details. Um, this channel is, is going to be mostly for beginning potters. Uh, I'll, I'll be adding on more and more uh, videos um, if people like it. So let me know. All right, here we go. Here we go. So uh, this is a this is my little setup. This is uh, Coleman porcelain that I'm throwing with. It is my uh, favorite kind of porcelain. I do not know Tom Coleman. He has not uh, paid me to say that, but. Um, Coleman porcelain, it throws well, it has good uh, thermal shock value, um, it throws tall, it's a great porcelain, it's not super translucent, so that is the one downside. So I like to start off throwing um, with a nice round ball to begin with, this is going to help you be centered. I start off with this egg shape, egg shaped ball, make a little target. Um, on the wheel head with the water, okay? To get this right in the center, just hold it, keep your elbow on your leg, boom, throw it down in the middle. Now, I missed a little bit, and that's okay. If you miss, you can just shove it over to, to the center. Okay. Now, the first, the next step is uh, to patty cake that clay on the center. And for that, you want the wheel going as slow as you can. I'm going to be throwing clockwise, uh, counterclockwise. And simultaneously, patty cake that clay. This is going to get you 90% on center. All right? Maybe 80 to 90% center. All right? Don't forget this step. It helps center the clay, but also, it also helps adhere the clay to the bat. All right. So... We have the, uh, the egg, target, slam, patty cake. Here we go. Now, if you imagine the, the wheel head is a clock, you got 12, 3, 6, 9, right? This section between uh, 3 and 6 is the golden section where we're going to do most of our throwing in general. Okay? So at 3 o'clock, I want you to take your sponge, make a little duck's beak, eat a cookie, push in. Ugh! push in and do this. I call this sealing the deal. This helps adhere the clay to the bat. Alright, so we had the egg, we made a target, slammed it down, pat a cake, seal the deal. Alright, the next uh, couple steps in centering I like to call the four S's. S number one is speed. Get that wheel going pretty fast. You don't have to floor it. You can floor it and back off a little bit. So you're about medium fast speed, like 80 to 50 to 80 percent. Okay, speed is the first S. That's super duper important. You gotta be going fast enough. Then, if you're a brand new beginner, take your foot off the pedal. The wheel will continue to rotate, and you don't even have to worry about it anymore. Okay. So first S is speed. Second S, shiny. Keep that clay wet. Okay. Your visual cue that you have enough water is that the clay is shiny. You only need to dip one hand and then hold on to your clay, okay? If, if you're doing this and you start filling up your splash pan with water, you got too much water, okay? You don't need that much and your clay can get saturated uh, with water and it becomes weaker and it, and it falls down easier, okay? So first S is speed, second S is shiny, third S super key. This is a big one that will help you get your clay centered. Sit close. You should have no space between the splash pan and 
your hips, okay? So, you know, get your knees up to this halfway point, okay? Also, what I like to do is I, um, I put my foot on something, my, my, my left foot on something so I can get my knee higher. Uh, the, today is a bag of clay, sometimes I'll use a brick or like a piece of wood or something. Okay, so we got speed, shiny, sit close. The last, the fourth step and most important step is slow release. Let me demonstrate that. I'm gonna put my elbow in my hip, push with just the heel of my hand here. At about seven o'clock, I'm leaning forward, bringing the clay up. I'm gonna flex my uh, thumb over the top. And if I let go, with a three second release, that clay is going to be centered, okay? But, if I'm leaning on that clay, and I let go too fast, suddenly, look at that, it's going to be off center, okay? So that's a one second release, one, two, that's a two second release, one, two, three. So the real key here is that you're releasing for three seconds, it's not like three, two, one, and then let go. No, it's three, two, one. And if your hips are close to the splash pan, all that means is that you slowly bring your shoulders back. Okay? And then you got centered clay. All right? Now, what's gonna happen to most people is they're gonna have this. You're gonna be bouncing around, your hand's going to be flying all over the place, and that's totally normal. Everybody's, everybody does that who learns pots. This just happens. If you find yourself in a position like this, get that elbow and put it against your hip. Lean forward until that clay becomes still. You see that? You see when it, it stopped pushing me around so much? Let me come over the top using the blade of my hand the blade in my hand between my knuckle and my wrist, I call that the blade, and I'm gonna press down. I'm not pr pressing down flat like this, where it's like a tabletop. I'm actually pressing down at a slight angle with my fingertips pointing upwards slightly, and my knuckles are lined up with the center of the clay, okay? So, that gives me a nice little dome and I like the dome shape, it's gonna set us up for the next step. A super good habit to get into is clean off your bat and seal the deal again. Sealing the deal down here, pushing at you know anywhere between three and six o'clock is how you keep your clay centered at the bottom. And the bottom is the hardest place to get your clay centered. You can also do this with your index finger at around 3 o'clock. Just bring it straight down. And you can center that clay up. Alright. Uh, so that's centering. Remember, if the clay is pushing you around like a bully, you just stand up to that bully. Okay? You don't get in a fight with the bully. You just stand up to the bully. Lean on that clay until it stops pushing you around and then slowly walk away from that bully. All right, that's centering. Here's the coning up with two hands. This is the raise the roof move. Raise the roof is you make your right hand like a roof and you pull down, push with the heel of the left hand. Up. Over the top and down. Hold, hold, hold. Hold, hold, hold. Got a little bit of off-centeredness down here at the base. When I shoved it off-center, so I'm going to push in. And you just hold. Anytime you're off-center, you just need to hold steady long enough and you'll be back on center. It's especially true with porcelain. Porcelain, you gotta hold for a little bit longer. 
it's a little bit more rubbery. So instead of a three second release with porcelain, you generally have to do a four or five second release. So that was centering from the very first uh, POV pottery video. Let me know what you think, if that was helpful to see it from the potter's point of view. Um, and uh, I'll post some more videos. Alright.